My name is Ramona Lumpkin. I'm 53 years old. I was born in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I have 21 grandchildren and one great-grandchild. I graduated from Western Michigan with a BSW degree in social work. And when I think about the civil rights era in Kalamazoo, Michigan, my mother, uh, Mary Ol Overton Cunningham, was the president at that time. And as an eight-year-old child, I remember the uh, March Van Avers drugstore. I remember um, people were always in and out of our house. I always heard them fussing, crying, praying together about the rights for a black man to go into a store or restaurant and how it wasn't it was so unfair that they could go in and buy food or buy medicine but they couldn't sit down and eat. And one day I heard my mother say that they were getting ready to do something about it. I recall being eight years old and being woke up at four o'clock in the morning with my mother telling me, come on, get up, it's time to go, you got to march. And at eight years old, I'm like, mama, please, why? You got to do it, you got to be a part, you got to start now. I remember uh, going down there, marching, holding a sign, walking all morning in the cold. I recall, even before the march, I remember my mother took us into the store with her and they uh, talked to, I don't know if it was Mr. Van Avery or who it was at the time about wanting to know if a black could work in the restaurant. And I remember hearing them debate that issue. The next thing I knew, we were on the picket line. And through my years in Kalamazoo, as a young teenager, I got fast and caught up, wanted to live the scene. And I made a few mistakes along the line. And uh, I got caught up in substance abuse. One day I remember riding around saying, why are all these kids standing on the corner? And I kept thinking, and I was crying, and I said to myself, God, I remember how my mother made us and all her friends pick it on the same corners. I remember there was a Harding store out on Burdick Street. Um, I remember them crying about Woolworths and downtown they were going to do something. See, so yeah, we're turning around using the same corners for dope corners. Number dope streets, people walking on down the street, just getting high. And I asked God to help me just change my life so I could come back and try to help others that were struggling with the same disease, the disease of addiction. Because it, it saddens me that um, through all that we went through, as blacks, prior generations, all the fighting they did, that we have almost reversed everything, every cause that they fought for. In my eyes, um, when I was young, we had we used to live at the Douglas. My mother always had meetings there. They always had some kind of activities for kids. I don't see any of that now. You know, and um, I really feel that there's a great need for us to come together again, like we were in the 60s and the 70s.